Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Teasing Master Takari-san season 3 episode number 7. Okay, the previous episode. It was one of the best episode of the whole series in itself, I have to say. Um, because like, you know, we get like the most development in the previous episode. Uh, first of all, as always, it's kind of broken up into three parts. The first part we see um you know like the play happening you know them practicing and stuff kimura was like doing uh like you know his own stuff ad-libbing uh, things into the play <laughs> while um all the others were you know like nishikata was also doing but he was unable to do it properly so takagi like you know thought about um telling him that oh like why don't we practice but nishikata himself did it before that and there was that whole thing on the roof like you know nishikata thought oh maybe she's going to think that i'm going to confess or something this and that <laughs> so yeah that was that and then there was the second part with the haunted house where nishikata and takagi spent a uh, little of their free time uh, going to the haunted house uh, that their school uh, that their yeah the school made in the cultural festival and um, yeah it was like you know like again like they kind of made it like into a contest as always nishikata kind of <laughs> saw how takagi was able to clear it so easily but by the end of it takagi was like let's go together and that was like a nice little section and then comes the actual like you know part of the episode where and there were a lot of other things were also happening like there's that food eating contest this and that the whole thing with the maid you know like that guy uh, cosplaying as a maid and he she did not want the girl to know that all that stuff but other than that the main thing was um takagi and nishikata like the play started and nishikata did his role and kimura was also kind of doing it but then kimura because he ate so much he was like oh i need to go i like, you know, dude you handle it he just gave it to uh, nishikata and nishikata like you know like saw that takagi was tripping and just jumped in into the stage and helped her out and obviously like you know since he jumped out he had to do something and he started ad-libbing and saying like oh like i came back from the like you know like from the curse this and that let's you know live together all of that <laughs> and that was like in you know, a whole ad-libbed section but it was done so well that everyone was very happy and obviously the person who was the most happiest was uh mm, takagi <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was that it was it was a really nice like you know section and i feel like this was probably the episode with the most character development that we ever had between these two so yeah that was fantastic so yeah that's how it ended so let's see how this episode goes it it and it seemed like like an end of a season or something you know but this is the sixth episode now it's the seventh episode so yeah i'm looking forward to what more they have to bring uh, in this season so, yeah let's get started this is episode number seven of Teasing Master Takari san season 3. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> all right so the previous episode was the first part and i'm guessing we're going to get more developments because usually the final episode of uh the season we get like a huge development and as I, that's why i said like you know the previous episode looked like a season finale or something but no it was not so i'm guessing the final episode of season three will probably be something big like episode six something like that because they usually end the season you know with like a quite a big development so and there are more, more like you know good episodes left to come after this so all right on a walk okay all 
Okay, let's see who it is. Zahari, maybe? Yes. Oh. Is that her dog? Yeah, I think so. She's walking the dog. Yep. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Someone else's dog. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to meet the dog as most probably. And obviously Takagi as well. Like could hang out with her. <laughs> yeah. The dog is like. <laughs> oh, wait, the dog is pretty friendly. Well, obviously, it's a pet dog, yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the way he, the dog is looking. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the dog is... Okay, he's thinking of what to say. Yep. No, definitely not. He's not going to do that. Like, what's the fun in that, you know? <laughs> His imagination. Ah, oh boy, there you go. Well, ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Damn, the dog is pretty chill with everything. Hmm. Okay. Wow, he's very happy. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we are at the shrine. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Taka is going to come here. <laughs> Look at the face of the dog. There you go. Oh, I thought she was going to see him and... Okay, never mind. Or maybe she did. Oh, she probably did. She was just waiting for him, I think. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Do the dog wag its tail. <laughs> um Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh, he let it slip. Okay, there you go. 
Why at this point? Why? <laughs> oh, that's bothering him. <laughs> oh boy, she can just read him like a book. Well, obviously anyone can. You know, like look at him. <laughs> oh. Okay. Open it. Oh my god. <laughs> so he, she really was there. She, she even took a picture. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that really. I thought it would be something else. Like, I was pretty sure he, she saw him, but I didn't think that she even took a picture. My god. <laughs> Homework at school. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Is this like his plan? I think he, it's, it's like some kind of plan he's making. Oh, no, no, never mind. Okay. I thought like he was thinking about trying to, you know, like win against Takagi about something. Hmm. There are still students. Oh, I'm guessing they're all going back. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy, this. Oh my god, this reminded me of a few things. I'll talk about it later. Why, like... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Is that girl that we saw? But yeah, like she's with you as well. So, oh no, Kimura is here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. And he's going to. Come back like, yeah, okay. Mm. Wow, everyone's like, okay. Oh. Um, wait, Tag is not even here. What? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Like. <laughs> they just assume that Tag is also here. I guess that's true, but still. Maybe, I think Tag is probably in the classroom. There you go. Just waiting. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Well. Oh, maybe she... 
Did she like? Okay, never mind. I thought she she took it with him. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh boy, wait, who's this? Oh my, they came back. <laughs> what, why is, okay. What, what was, the, what are they here? Okay. Great. True. That was a lie. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Obviously not. Like. Okay. Let's let's stay here. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> okay, it's definitely going to be something different completely than his. That's how, yeah. That's how she does stuff. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good point. Good point. That's why it's called homework. <laughs> oh, okay. Santa Claus? Question mark? Oh, is this going to be those? Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy, I knew it. This is going to be one of those episodes where one of them doesn't know that Santa. Wait. Wait, do they none of them? <laughs> oh no okay yeah she's the one who only doesn't know why are you asking them <laughs> oh no oh no oh my god I knew it this was going to be one of those episodes okay Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have another thing I'll talk about in the discussion section. Oh my god. <laughs> this reminded me of another thing. <sighs> oh. Damn, these have like. What is this? Like some science biology book or something? How old is he even? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought. Okay. Knitting. Hmm. Wow, she is really fast. that's slow okay i you know what i really have no idea like how fast people actually go i feel like this is quite fast that's definitely not slow <laughs> well yeah they need to teach him first. 
No, it's not difficult. I I've seen people doing it. It's kind of like, you no, know, like like the same movement you have to do over and over again. Oh, okay. Once you get used to it, it can be. <laughs> loop and then put it from the bottom oh boy here we go um ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, nothing got into his head. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Not humiliating, but embarrassing. Oh, first, okay. My God, look at her go, it's so fast. Look. Now the question is, for who? <laughs> Type of Uber. What? <clears throat> Wow. Okay. Letters. Hmm. Oh, Christmas present. I it took me so long to understand what's happening. It's for okay. Most probably it is a Christmas present for I don't know, let's see. Nope. <coughs> Well, she's asking you, must be for a reason, you know? <laughs> uh, no, wait. Wait, how old is Nishikata? They're the same age, aren't they? Or... It's probably some cat or a dog or something, I don't know. <laughs> because I think Nishikat is the same age as her, so... It's probably a cat or a dog, let's see. Ugh. <laughs> But like a 15 year old cat, it's really very old. Okay, here we go. There you go, I was correct. 15 years old, that's quite old. Um, no. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. There you go, it's quite old. 
<laughs> okay, at first I thought maybe it's like for him, Christmas presents or, such, or something, but no. <laughs> yeah. He's like, they got, they got me in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, whoa, what's with the ending? Okay. Oh. Like, okay, like all the endings are different. And obviously, it is sung by um, um, Rie Takahashi, uh, uh, Takagi's voice actor. Most probably, because this voice is very familiar to me. It is Takagi's voice. So, <laughs> I feel like... Like, you know, like, I guess, like, they give the voice actress, like, say, like, oh, you, you have, you know, you, you can sing the song. And they just, like, you know, like, completely go all out and sing <laughs> and and like i've heard Rie takashi's voice before as well like her singing and it's really nice you know like here we can we like, cannot see it again uh, hear it again now i'm not completely sure if this is actually her voice i think it is Okay, is that the end? Yup. Alright, a very simple episode here. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... This episode, the first part here, we get to see that uh, Nishikata is just chilling and Takagi is like, Oh, let's, like, you know, like, will you come and, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm out on a walk with the dog, so you can come and, like, you know, join me. And Nishikata was very excited to like, you know, like take a dog on a walk. I'm guessing probably it's like, you know, his his family probably does not allow dogs or something. That's why I guess he never had the opportunity to walk a dog. So he was pretty excited about that. And he just came running and <laughs> obviously like, you know, like hanging with Takagi was another was, a, was was also like, you know, part of it. But still, I'm guessing he he like you know, he got so excited like hearing about that. Oh, there's a dog I can just take with me and like you know take on a walk. He was like, ah, this is my chance. Let's go. <laughs> and since he loves animals so much, and okay, so he comes like you know uh, to Takagi's uh, you know like the, the place where Takagi was, and they start walking the dog. And uh, all right, so here again like you know this this whole thing of him him actually. Like, you know, like thinking like, oh, like showing my weakness will be embarrassing. You know, like this is, I guess that's pretty normal because she, I think he is, I think he's 14, isn't he? He and Taki both. Um, you know, at their, like, you know, at this age, obviously, like, you know, people try to, you know, act a little bit, <laughs> you know, get embarrassed with, like, you know, very simple things. And, um, you know, this is where, like, you know, they, like, you know, people, like, you know, children start to grow up and they have this whole thing of like you know how they look like in front of others you know this thing starts growing and they feel like oh am i looking okay like you know like what do that people think what do that people think like, you know, and then they like they also kind of get easily embarrassed on stuff so this age you know is is basically that age and like you know that's why i'm guessing tagi kind of not tagi sorry nishikata kind of like you know thinks about it's like this, like, oh, like, what will she think if she sees me showing my weakness? She'll think that, oh, I am lame. So that's what she, he doesn't want Takagi to, like, you know, feel like, you know, feel like. And obviously, Takagi is not a person like that. And Takagi is very mature of her age. You know, like, I feel like she's like a 20 or 5 or 6 year old <laughs> old girl, but she's just 14. You know, that's like the mental age, age she has. And that's why she, these type of things doesn't actually bother, neither bothers her, nor she herself is 
into these kind of stuff of actually showing other people and not you know being embarrassed about these things she's not affected at all she is affected little you know, small little stuff you know uh when it's really something embarrassing she does kind of blush and everything but obviously not as much as takagi and not takagi sorry nishkat i always mix these two's names up so much my god <laughs> but yeah that's why takagi is all <sighs> Nishkata. Nishkata is always um, trying to, you know, like show his tough side in front of Takagi and <laughs> not show his weak side or like, you know, what he thinks that it is his weak side. So <coughs> he's like, he, he doesn't tell Takagi and Takagi obviously understood that he wants to walk the dog. So she's like, oh, you take it. And he just took it and was so happy about it. And even Takagi, even after that, says like, you know what? You can go ahead. You can like, you know, go for a little run. The dog also probably wants to run. So yeah, like she just like, you know, like by telling him that it would be easier for him to accept it. Like he himself wouldn't say like, oh, can I walk the dog or oh, can I just go ahead and run a little bit? He wouldn't say those things because that would be actually showing his inner feelings. So he wouldn't do that. That's why Takagi was like, you know what? You know, just kind of leading him on, and he just grabbed onto that, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead then." And he just runs off with the dog, and the dog was also having a, a lot of fun. And <laughs> I love the dog. Think the dog was like so chill with everything. Like, I don't like. There are, I guess, there are pets who like. There are pets who are overly affectionate, even like you know, like towards strangers. They're just on top of them. And there are like certain pets who are kind of cautious with strangers, but kind of gets you know warm up, warms up to them. And like I'm guessing this dog was probably neither of the extremities. It was like a very neutral dog. The dog was like, ah, fine, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, no, yeah, let 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 me just go with this boy, who I've never seen before. <laughs> <coughs> but. <clears throat> yeah, the dog was pretty chill with everything and he was like, you know, even when the Nishkat was petting, he was not overly affectionate, he was just, like, you know, there and she, like, you know, the dog did kind of, like, you know, lay down on its belly and was just, you know, like, <laughs> Nishkat was petting him. <laughs> and, yeah, now here I, I realized, I, I'm, I'm, I was pretty sure that Tagi is probably here somewhere just watching this whole scene and... <laughs> I was right, which we see in the end. Okay, so he kind of like you know like pets him and everything, and then Nish Takagi comes in. They take the dog back, and oh my god. Okay, where is it? Yeah, and then like Takagi kind of says something like, "Oh, I was having real fun," uh, because then he stops. She stops, and Nishikata's like what you're bothering me like what were you trying to say and she, she just shows him the picture now this is one thing i was not expecting i thought like yeah okay she was probably there somewhere just looking at that scene i thought that would be the extent of it even found the time to take a picture of it <laughs> i guess like okay so wait a minute so how how did tari come here so quickly did she also run or something like, nishkat was running basically with the dog and I'm guessing she probably, I don't know, she also probably just ran. <laughs> it was just like, you know, kind of ran and just waited there for Nishkata to start petting the dog. And then she like, she was like, ah, this is my chance. Takes out the phone and like starts clicking picture. You know, what would be real fun? I, I feel like this, you know, like the behind the scenes of these, like, you know, <laughs> these scenarios like for example we see everything from nishkata's perspective what happened after that what did takagi do did she suddenly start running as i was saying did she like you know, just waiting in one of the bushes just waiting for nishkata to start petting the dog and she brings out the camera and just starts snapping picture like all these things like <laughs> i feel like there should be like a you know um uh like these like you know a perspective from nishkata uh, from takagi's you know, like what she does during these type of situation. You know, like <laughs> these type of things. But yeah, that will be kind of hilarious because I do remember one of the previous episodes where, which was like the silent episode, where we did see Nishkata what actually Takagi does when Nishkata 
is like you know how he catches him off guard you know the whole thing with the marble he just like you know like kind of sees that he picked up the marble goes back comes from behind him and she's like oh let me guess what you have like i'm guessing nishin takahi basically does that you know tries to find these you know like these um like situations to tease him <laughs> and you know what i was just saying how mature takagi is but if you look at it in that way you can see like there's like a pretty childish uh, like you know childish little kid in her as well if you look at it in that you know perspective like you know she's trying to find ways to tease nishikata which is also kind of like you know like a like a childish part of her uh, outside like you know inside that mature uh, like you know uh, what do you call it uh, the mature uh, like you know personality there's like a childish part as well Oh boy. <clears throat> All right, that was the first part. Okay, and then there was the next part we like, you know, they go back to the school because uh Takagi like you know left something his homework in school and he just goes back and then he realizes that all the like, you know, there's like all the couples are just waiting there just chatting away and he's like oh my god like, if someone sees me they're going to misunderstand. <laughs> that was it. like this scene really reminded me of my school days as well unfortunately i was like in a boys school boys only school so none of this stuff happened but <laughs> but like you know we i do remember like you know we kind of used to hang around after school and just talk chat you know like and like you know have fun with friends and i also remember we used to you know play in and there was like a huge field in our school we used to play around as well at that moment like soccer cricket whatever you know we had and like before the school started after the school ended we used to do that with our friends it was a lot of fun and like it's like it reminded me of that like you know like after school the the, the time after school like the school ended at like maybe like 2 p.m or something like we it, it's 4 p.m we're still at school the school is like you know like we're just playing and this the gates are going to close and <laughs> they they're like get out of the school and we used to run away like that was loads of fun my god like this show really reminds me of a lot of things from my you know like uh what do you call it a lot of uh, situations in my childhood as well my god it's such a such a like you know, like kind of tingles the nostalgic thing in you <laughs> since this is a slice of life as well you know like these are all relatable situations but yeah anyways um <clears throat> okay so he kind of sees like you know kimura and the like you know the his friend group just there he was like oh my god like you know <laughs> they're going to see me and he just kind of goes to the toilet and just tries to get out of that situation <laughs> goes up the stairs and the, those two girls i think mano and nakai yeah those two uh, the girl and the boy the guy was like oh you're here with takagi aren't you i'm like what how like takagi is not even here like how did i guess like you know they kind of guessed it completely <laughs> but yeah like guessed it correctly and they go away and nishikata is like thank god you know, takagi is not here but then he goes to his classroom and takagi is just sitting there which i obviously expected because you know you know eventually he has to come here to get his homework so <laughs> takagi was just sitting here and <clears throat> he comes here like and then like those two like the uh, mano and that guy and they kind of like you know kind of <laughs> like to kind of show their faces a little bit and then go away nishikata's like all right let's um you know let's let's go like my thing that i was doing is done let's go and <laughs> takagi is like you know what let's stay a little bit because you know i have you know like i feel like like i i i have something to do here you know and takagi nishikata's like what and she's like homework <laughs> like the way she leads him on and then just completely reverses the situation <laughs> that's basically takagi's like you know way of doing things he kind of leads the like you know like nishikata on and then when there's that decisive situation she's she completely turns it around and yeah <laughs> all right and the next part the whole like you know the santa scene 
Oh my god, this scene. Okay, um, like I like as soon as like you know there, there was like the Santa question mark. I was like, yeah, this is probably th that type of an episode. But there's like one kid who probably doesn't know like the actual secret behind Santa Claus, and you know the others know, and then like basically that's basically it. That that girl, um, I think Sanai that was her name. Yeah, it was Sanai, wasn't it? Anyways, um. She, she was like oh santa like you know what am i supposed to do like you know like <laughs> like santa wouldn't know what to like, you know what did she say um yeah so christmas but no uh oh the the other girl says like there's no christmas present sharing in my house and he she's so surprised she's like wait it, it actually differs from house to house what will happen what what will happen if santa doesn't realize that he's supposed to come in my house because we do exchange presents and the other girl was going to say and the like you know like the, the glasses girl just stopped her like no don't don't crush her dreams oh my god this scene oh boy this reminded me again as i said this show makes me really nostalgic another one of my situations oh boy <laughs> How I got to know that Santa doesn't exist. Um, <coughs> I remember, like, you know, <laughs> I used to go to this, um, like, you know, someone used to, like, you know, little, used to teach me some stuff. Like, there was, like, a little group of students, like, you know, my age, we used to go there, they used to teach me, like, you know, English and stuff, like, you know, academic stuff. Uh, like, I was very young at that age, and, you know, I, I believed that Santa existed at that time. And there was this one day when the teacher, she was like oh like, like some thing came up and she was like uh you know what like i'm going to tell you a little secret um santa doesn't ex yeah that's the, literally what she did um santa actually doesn't exist it's actually your parents yeah literally she just said this to us all of us i was like wait what is she saying <laughs> santa doesn't exist what type of a thing is that like I completely brushed aside her thing. I was like, ah, oh, she's like, you know, she's probably lying or something. I did not believe it. <laughs> I went back home and then I started suspecting. And then this one day I kind of asked my parents, I was like, like Santa doesn't exist, does it? It's actually you guys. And my mom was like, yeah, that's true. And I was like, okay, that, the, <laughs> the teacher was right. And this is basically what happened, how I got to know, my god, like, I'm, like, now that I think about it, I'm, like, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm at this age, I think, like, what did that teacher even think when they, she, she basically told that to so many, like, you know, young kids, like, kids like us who didn't even know that whole situation, a lot of people of us, like, I'm pretty sure there were a lot of kids who still believed in Santa at that age, and completely crushed <laughs> their dreams. <laughs> Oh my god, just, uh. but anyways, that was like a funny, oh my god, recollection, I, I just had when I was watching this scene, like, <laughs> oh my god, that was wild, <laughs> I think about it now and I realize, like, what a wild thing that was, like, just <clears throat> casually exp explaining that, yeah, Santa doesn't exist, it's actually your parents, like, damn, <laughs> oh, <clears throat> anyways, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Ah, okay, the next part uh, was the knitting part, and um, Tavi, like, you know, is like knitting like a thing, and Nishikata is like, uh, oh, this is quite difficult, and Tavi kind of shows him. And I do remember, you know, like, I kind of saw people knitting, and I was a little bit interested, I kind of saw how they did it. I myself kind of did it a little bit, but it, it was not for me, so I just stopped. <laughs> so, yeah, it is a little bit difficult, but it kind of gets easy, you know, when you do it, it it's kind of like, uh, what do you call it, like, your hand kind of remembers the motion that you go through and it's kind of like you know not as difficult like you know you you you, have, you gain the muscle memory like you know and you can do very quickly at that moment just like nishikata uh, takagi was doing but for beginners obviously it's difficult to actually learn so <clears throat> she was doing that and takagi like you know that whole scene of her actually trying to go and like you know help nishikata out nishikata was just embarrassed so much with that like obviously don't blame him um, but then Takagi is like, oh, I'm making this for a boy, 15 year old age. 
<laughs> Nishka was like, wait, what? <laughs> like one year older than her. Now, up until now, like you know, the, that portion, I thought maybe it was actually for him because you know the previous section was the whole thing with Santa. I was thinking maybe she's making a Christmas present for him or something. Um, and like that, you know, that's why he was asked. She was asking him for color input, which color he liked. I thought I thought it was something like that, but. Then when she said like, oh, it's 15 years age, I'm like, wait a minute, Tinshikata is very surprised. That probably means he's not 15, he's 14, like, you know, a, one age younger. He himself said that one years older, 15, that means he's also 14. So I was like, wait a minute. So it's not for him because she said he's 15. And I was like, well, then who is it? And then I realized that, okay, it's probably either a dog or a cat because he says like, a little boy, uh, a 15 year old little boy. That's what she says. She never mentioned whether it's a human being or an animal. So there you go. Like in the end, we get to know that it's actually a little dog. And I was like, damn, like 15 years old, like for, for dogs and cats, that's a lot of age. You know, that's quite old. And that's what she says, you know, like it's like very like old that's why it's like making a little warm thing for it <laughs> and Mishkata is like oh like you know like that scene reminded me of that meme you know the meme where there's this guy like got us in the first half not gonna lie <laughs> that meme it, it, it just reminded me of that oh boy <sighs> and yeah that was the end wow and uh, <laughs> yeah another fun episode uh, this this episode reminded, reminded me of a lot of things from my childhood. It was fun. Kind of a nostalgic little trip. Oh boy. Anyway, so that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to uh, Teasing Master Takahisan episode, uh, season 3, episode number 7. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that was it. And thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Teasing Master Takagi-san Season 3. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.